Hi, today I will talk about how to get uh, polar alignment um, with the true north. So, if you have an equatorial mount, it's very important to be aligned. Well, for visual, you can put more or less at the north, you know more or less where it is. Uh, whether it is the, the smartphone or uh, other methods and it will be fine but uh, if you want to uh, accurate uh, alignment you will want to do it the better way uh, especially if you like me you put the equatorial mount always in the same place so I always put this platform here and uh, so, so I need to have it the better way what I did was forget the smartphone for now because it, it's not worth it uh, I have more than one and if I put the smartphones with the compass they they are not equal not always and to be perfect this has to be other way uh, the the smartphone gives us the magnetic uh, pole we want uh, the true north not the magnetic north so what i did was to find the, the most used method and very good is to find the Polaris and point to, to Polaris uh, for me it's there uh, what I did was first to do that and uh, I just I just, I just align the two I put in the, the finder and the tell are, are correct uh, alignment and uh, I put the tube to the Polaris I find Polaris in the center of my eyepiece and then I use this because it, it's symmetric and I use this and these two to, to align and uh, the, result, the result was here I mark here with a pencil and here at the south because it's important to have here the south well aligned I did that then um, I mark all, also I square this to make the horizontal mark and um, because it's important because the platform is like this um, then uh, you have the the, the possibility to uh, use the um, the sun. Uh, we all know that the sun, when you at noon, uh, your shadow will point north, but it's more or less north. It's okay if you use in uh, if you are lost or for other things, but to have an accurate alignment. Uh, of the platform it has to be the true the true north has to be the the true sun noon and uh, that noon you can find i will put at the description the link uh, it's not not always the same it could be uh, 12 and 5 minutes 12 and a half 12 and a quarter or before 12 and uh, if you find the exact noon at you, the day you will do that measure uh, it will be accurate and it has to be aligned with the, the marks of the, the, the Polaris also and that will be the perfect uh, confirmation <clears throat> the, the site will give you, you put the date and will give you the the exact hour and minutes and seconds for the 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 noon 
the sun noon that day so you at that exact hour you only have to do this with a pencil you put like this and the shadow will point the exact north the true north of course it's not uh, the true north now because it's not noon but the the the, the day i i did that i put just put the the pencil here the mark I did with the Polaris and uh, the shadow was exactly in the same direction of my marks uh, of the Polaris so that was the confirmation I made the, 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 the right direction so then when I had the, that confirmation I, I took a, 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 red, a red pen and I mark a, a thicker mark here, so it will be here always for, for me to, to use. So at night, what I do, I like the, the simplicity of the Dobsonians. What I do at night or before night, I come out with the platform, I just put it here, I align here with the south, a line here, and that's it. Then I put the, the, the base, the rocker, and the tube. And I know every day, every night, that I have this perfectly aligned with the true north. And that's what we want. We want that because it will be more balanced and the, the, the platform will will be more accurate in 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 uh, keeping the, the 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 objects in the eyepiece even at height magnifications so it's very easy to to do if you go to to a star party uh, you don't have these marks of course and uh, you arrive earlier and you don't have uh, the polaris you can use that site uh, I will give you uh, to, to, to find your magnetic uh, declination at that place uh, and, and you can adjust uh, uh, the declination to the compass in the smartphone. You see the magnetic north and then with the magnetic declination you know, for example, 3 degrees and you put th three degrees to the west or the east. It depends what what he gives to you. Uh, so it will be a a, a very nice uh, method to to you to keep this always perfectly aligned. I hope it helps you to find the true north. Cheers. <laughs>